Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be demoing a Tomo Study release that is more geared towards streamers. I call it Tomo Study Stream. Um, so this is just going to be kind of a video of setting up Tomo Study Stream and um, utilizing it and kind of the features of it. So um, similar to how you download Tomo Study on our GitHub page, if you've downloaded Tomo Study before, uh, it's the same exact thing. Once you have Java installed, you're able to um, run this. If you don't have Java or have never used a Java application, go watch my uh, uh, Tomo Study demo video. Um, I've probably talked about installing Java more than I have actually talking about um, the features of my applications. Um, but today we're going to be talking about Tomo Study Stream, which is kind of uh, the timer part of Tomo Study, which um, streamers can utilize in their uh, stream. So let's get into it. Um, let's just open up Tomo Study Stream and um, we'll see um, where we begin. We kind of just have this very simple uh, Pomodoro interface. We have our timer here. We have the amount of sessions that we want to do. We have the length that we want to make those sessions and we have a break length here so for instance if i'm doing uh you know four study sessions uh for each for 25 minutes and i want to take a five minute break i would set it up intuitively like this so um for the sake of demoing this um i will keep it down to one minute though for each of them um just for simplicity's sake um and uh, right away, I kind of want to showcase the um, the more streamer aspect of uh, this application. So most streamers, I would assume, use OBS to stream. And um, what I'm going to do here is kind of demo how we can get uh, the timer set up properly. Uh, something like this. I'm actually going to uh, delete this and restart. Um, so essentially right here, I just kind of have a blank canvas with a, with a picture I took like <laughs> three years ago. Um, so uh, if we want to get the this application onto our OBS, uh, the easiest way to do it is just by hitting uh, new sources down here, hitting window capture. Um, and we could just name this Tomo study or whatever you want to name it. Uh, we can hit OK. And specifically, the window we're looking for is this uh, Java EXE Tomo Study Stream. Um, notably, I would turn off Capture Cursor um, just uh, just because if you could see here, uh, when I'm over here, um, I have my cursor captured here. Essentially, that's what gets turned off here. Don't really want that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's how I would set it up. And so now we have Tomo Study Stream up here on our OBS. And um, what I actually want to do here is is get only the timer because that's kind of the only thing we're focused on here. So if I hit Alt on my keyboard, I'm on a Windows computer. This might be different um, for a Mac or something like that. Um, I can actually crop out a specific part of the window that I want. So now you can see I just have the timer right here. Now um, there is a step further that we're going to go into and we're actually going to crop out this background as well um, just so we only get the timer part of this so if we go to our window capture here we can right click and hit filters um, from here um, we can add a filter here at the bottom and the one we're looking for is color key so i can add one of these um, and under key color type i can set this to be custom and I can select the color that I want to essentially green screen. You can think of it. That's probably the, the easiest way to think of it. So I can hit pick select color here and I can go to the Tomo study application here and just click on the background color, hit okay and hit close. And as we can see, we no longer see that uh, background color. Um, so perfect. We can size it however we want. If we want it up here, you know, I'm sure plenty of people have used OBS um, enough, but that's kind of the overall setup of this application. From here, we have this very intuitive study timer. Um, right here, we don't need a million uh, different scenes or anything like that. That's kind of the convenience of this application. Um, so now I kind of want to go into more 
detail about this application, um, the other things that it can do, and uh, stuff like that. So we'll we'll just start off um, this help tab. Um, if you for some reason don't watch this video, this help tab kind of just gives you a basic rundown of all the things that um, uh, this application can do. Um, so not really any features there, uh, just kind of like a how to. So this file tab has um, five options. The first one being a link Tomo study profile. So um, essentially, if you use Tomo study um, outside of, you know, uh, doing other things, you use it as your primary study timer. You can link your Tomo study profile to Tomo study stream and still receive Tomo tokens for the sessions that you do um, using this app. So that's uh, that's very convenient. Um, right here is a uh, view current settings so we can see the settings that uh, this application is currently utilizing so we can see kind of the general settings um, our timer settings and last but not least we can see our tomo study profile so when i actually get a uh, tomo study profile here linked um, you'll see more information on that tomo study profile um, I'll do that towards the end of the video though um, just so i can show off the uh, timer customization so um, the next one we have is import settings. So you can import a settings file um, and essentially your timer will be set up that way. Um, we can export a settings file, which does exactly the opposite. You can send a settings file um, anywhere you want. And that reset settings will bring your settings back to what you see um, right here. So yeah, um, let's go to customize. So under the customize options at the moment we have a uh, sound options which kind of gives us um, the ability to change our end sound um, I don't have background sounds at the moment um, I might add that in the future um, in case somebody doesn't want to have like rain sounds playing this app could automatically play rain sounds for you um, I probably will do that maybe like fireplace sounds or lo-fi sounds or or something like that but at the moment we just have this uh, um, this uh these sounds here so this is um our selection here and then we can play the sound here on my computer for some reason this is supposed to be a play button you'll probably see that if you have an updated version of windows um but here we go that's the one i want and you know we have other ones too um these are all the ones from Thomas study at the moment but i plan to add more um in the future for that um so now we'll move on to timer appearance options. Um, this is probably going to be the most used uh, section of the application, definitely the one I spent most time on. Um, so we'll just kind of walk over um, what this is. And uh, yeah, so on the left side here, we have all these you know different buttons that we see um, where we can actually change um, uh, the aspects of our timer. So we have a preview of what our timer will look like, and then we can save our changes here um, to go back to the uh, timer. So essentially, I have the UI background color. That's the uh, color in which that we would color correct on OBS. So um, I can, you know, go here, make it whatever color I I want. Um, you know, if I uh, if I want to make it like this light light blue, I can. And here we go. We get that preview here on the right hand side. If I want to change the border color, I don't really have anything uh, too in mind right now with a border color. Um, maybe we'll just make it, uh, I don't know, purple uh, for now. <laughs> I'm not really a design person, but I'm sure you could come up with um, some fun colors uh, for this. Um, timer color, we'll change the timer's background color here so we can kind of make that maybe like a lighter, lighter, you know, pink, purple, magenta, whatever that is to you. Um, and text color, pretty intuitive. Um, I have no idea what would go good with this. Maybe like an orange node that looks really ugly. Um, we'll just keep it at white for now. But yeah, you could change it um, to whatever you really want. Um, notably, another cool thing. So we have a timer timer font. So this uh, this window, you can actually change the font of this timer here. Um, if you actually install fonts, um, those fonts will um, appear um, to be selected as well. Um, and if there's a font that doesn't appear that um, you want to install, um, 
uh, you can always reach out to me and uh, we can see if we can get it to work. Um, just trying to scroll through here, see if there's a font that I recognize that I've downloaded. Set that here and we can hit OK and you can see that the font changes here. Um, we can also change the uh, timer sub font, so that's what this font is. This font will say, you know, either let's focus, um, it'll say the, the current um, session that you're in, and it'll also indicate when you're on break, and I'll, I'll demo that as well. Um, so we get changes to, you know, whatever we want, uh, maybe like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, what is this one? Um, we'll change it to... I actually have no idea what half these fonts are. We'll just go Comic Sans for the memes, right? Um, so there we go. I made the font size a little bigger there as well. Um, so now our timer looks like this. Uh, we could change our border thickness here. This can, you know, be up updated here. Maybe we want a lighter border, you know, thicker border, you know. That looks fine, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, now uh, we can change our border type too. So we can either have a rounded border or a rectangular border. Um, whichever one we like. I kind of like this rounded border a little better anyway. So we can hit save here. And now our um, border or our, our Tomo study uh, now looks like this. Um, so notably, if we go back into OBS, um, we'll notice that... Um, We'll have to rearrange things a little bit, not too much. Um, so here we go. We have the timer here. We can change that uh, um, color key back to um, to this color here. We can hit OK, close, and now look at that. We have our nice um, we have our nice purple looking timer here, um, ready for us to use for our streams. So let's actually um, demo. We'll demo uh, two sessions. Um, each for a minute long and the break will be a minute. So I'm going to have this run through um, and you can kind of just see um, this application working. So let's, uh, let's just uh, start this uh, session. All right, so we're just about done with the first session here. Um, so any second now we will um, see this. So our session's now over. We hear our ending sound. Um, and this will repeat until we acknowledge. When, when we hit OK, the break will begin like so. So now we're on break. The break timer will go. We see that our, our text here has changed to break as well. And our OBS side is still doing great. So we'll be back when uh, this break ends. All right. So break is over and just like before we get this uh, message dialog here we can hit OK and start session number two and you probably get the idea from now I don't probably need to continue this after um, this will come up you'll get another dialog similar to how the first session worked you hit OK and since it was the last session um, it will be done and at any time that you need to uh, stop the timer, um, there's this break focus button here. So we can break it. It'll tell you how long uh, you studied. And um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to cover other than that. Um, you could download this application over on GitHub um, right next to the Tomo study um, section. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, it would really mean a lot to me if you uh, left feedback, anything that um, you might want me to add. Um, there are plenty of things that um, I have on my to-do list for this application. So um, yeah, but this was the first version of it. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, someone can uh, get something out of this. So yeah, thank you everybody um, and take care.